हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू कसी प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल इन प्रीवियस फ्यू लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द स्टोरेज क्लास इन सी एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोरेज दैट इज ऑटो एंड रजिस्टर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस एन अनदर टाइप ऑफ स्टोरेज क्लास दैट इज एक्सटर्न सपोज वी आर वर्किंग ऑन अ project which contains almost 2 to 3 files then what if we have declared a variable that is accessible in one file and suppose i want that variable to be accessed in another file suppose this is a file 1 and this is a file 2 f1 and this is f2 and we have a variable x in this file and we want to access this variable x in this file then what we have to do we will use extern keyword before the variable that we want to transfer or use the scope to the other variable so first of all we will see an example how an extern keyword will be used so coming to the turbo c++ now first of all we have a file name with file 2 first of all include some header file onio.h and also stdio.h and we will include a file named as file1.c that we will use in what we will use the variable of this program in that program then we will declare now first of all what we will do is declare a integer variable that is in type of x now a function that we will use in that file where we will use the integer x as extern keyword and int main and here initialize the value with 10 and print f what x in file 2 is equal to percent d comma and print x simple and return first of all get ch and return 0 now one thing we will provide the definition of print in file 1.c and that file here we have included file 1.c and we will use integer x in that file 1.c so here we call the print function simply and save the code and take a just open a file 1 this i have made previously and what we have done in this file is that just included here a file and here before the extern sorry int keyword we use extern and this shows that the variable x that we are going to use has been declared and initialized in other file and the extern specifier tells the compiler that the variable has already been declared elsewhere and therefore it should not allocate storage space for that variable again during compilation of the program the linker will automatically resolve the reference problem means from where this program we will we have got now compile the code yeah, it's fine and save this code now coming to the file2.c and here we have called the print function from file1.c so compile this code yeah we are having an error 
due to this now this should be resolved why because this is a custom generated header file we can say that then we have to use double quotes this sign we have to use when user defined any variable sorry any file within c and include that file to other program then we have to use double brackets sorry double quotes and uh, this is uh, already defined header file by the c turbo c++ so we use this sign now it's fine running the code yeah x in file 2 is 10 and x in file 2 is 10 and uh, once again going to that program file 1.c and here we have written uh, file 2 and change this as file 1 and once again save going to file and here clear the screen so can we can say that what's really happening run the code yeah x in file 1 is 10 and x in file 2 is 10 and here when we call the print function our variable x is transferred to the file 1.c and its value is initialized with x so in file 1 it printed x in file 1 is 10 and once again in file 2 its value is already 10 so how can we use that extern keyword in a big project if, if we are working on a big project having lots of variables and having lots of files then we will use extern keyword to brought a file from to bring a file from one program to another program and we have already discussed all the scope accessibility storage existence and default value of the extern and default value of extern keyword is 0 means if we will not give the value of x then it will print what 0 means default value of x is 0 so guys this is enough for a extern keyword in next lecture we will see a most important storage class that is static and we will see example and we have already discussed about all the storage class in previous few lecture so guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you